giveaways. These are some great giveaways here. We're going to tell you a little bit about the products, and then we'll be on our way. Uh, make sure you know that Accessory Power has been around for 30 plus years. We have offices not just in the United States, but in Asia and Europe, so chances wherever you're at, we have an office or a warehouse nearby. Most importantly, we have an industry-leading three-year warranty on every product every day of the year. Three years, pretty good. That's like better than Allstate. You guys are in good hands here. The Ecuador people don't get that reference, but that's okay. <laughs> We've got three great lines we want to tell you about. Go Groove, which is our portable and home audio solutions. Those are great, some great Bluetooth speakers. One of our rapidly growing areas is our Mood Bright uh, lighting section. Portable lamps that are great for illuminating and taking it with you when you're on the go or looking to study someplace. USA gear, which is all things, bags and mounts and cases and straps. Those are also not just beautiful to the eye, but they're very practical. So they have storage units, which is great for your tablets or your phones or your cases that you want to have some sort of flair. And then also, last but not least, are our, uh, our gaming line. So we're going to get into this. Make sure, again, you still have time to sign up if you haven't. But without further ado, I'd like to introduce our speaker today. Uh, Robert Fine is here. Bob launched the only printed magazine covering social media in 2011, the Social Media Monthly. In 2014, he launched his second print title, the Startup Monthly. Bob provides IT strategic planning and consulting services to the private sector and nonprofits. Please help me welcome Robert Fine, ladies and gentlemen. Watch your step, Robert. All right, thank you, sir. Yes, sir, right here. Everybody hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, first off, I love Ecuador. Quito is one of my favorite cities. If, if, you, if everybody has to make one lifetime trip to Galapagos, one of the best places in the world. Um, so uh, my background is, is 20 years of engineering IT, um, actually, and then five years ago, I decided for some strange reason to start a content company, um, publishing company, very hard, uh, uh, business, but I've been loving it ever since. We launched the only print magazine about social media back in 2011. We were named one of the 15 hottest magazine launches that year by the industry. Uh, we had distribution in 20 countries and every Barnes & Noble across the U.S. and Chapters Indigo in Canada, if anyone from Canada is here. And um, we did 17 print issues of that uh, through 2013. Um, and our, but our online website's still thriving. We now have an email readership of 30,000 readers, a uh, quarter million followers on Twitter and Facebook. Um, a couple of years ago, we started covering the startup and investor industry quite a bit more. Um, part of that was uh, so many of the social media companies we were covering were startups at the same time. So it, it just made sense to talk about the business aspects of starting those companies. Um, in this last year, and what we're announcing and have been doing here the last couple days, is we've launched a, a VR, this, that's better, a VR vertical um, content. And uh, that complements the social media content very well in the startups, and VR is going to have a very, very strong social component. Um, we just launched January 1, our, our VR voice membership for companies and individuals. And I think this is my, my sixth, maybe seventh CES. And we just did our first side event um, last night at the Stratosphere. We had over 1,700 signups. Um, we had, I think, about 300 people came last night. And it was a packed room. We had 10 VR exhibitors, and it's wonderful. And so one of the reasons I'm here today uh, talk about um, the Bluetooth headset, the new one, just want to make sure I get the model, the FXT, Blue Vibe FXT, is you know, headphones are an integral part of the VR setup and ecosystem. And I don't know how many of you have tried an HT Vive yet, or an Oculus, or even just a, a regular you know, Google Cardboard. But last night, we had a, a company uh, exhibiting called Verzoom, and they have an exercise bike, um, with, and you wear the headset. And it's got a, I mean, it's a, it's a ton of fun. I haven't had one person use that and not like it. Um, but the idea is for exercise, and you sweat a lot. Um, and, uh, and you sweat, well, I sweat profusely. I don't know about other people. But, and um, if you're gonna, and headphones are a key part of the experience, um, whether they're wired or wireless via Bluetooth. Um, and you want good sound, 
playing games, listening to music, whatever it is. And so you want to get a pair of headphones like the Blue Vibes from Go Groove. And, um, but you're going to sweat a lot, and you don't want to wear a pair of headphones that you're going to ruin. Maybe you have a higher-end pair of headphones, you have a Beats or something like that. Um, but those weren't designed for the gym. They weren't designed for exercise. And the great thing about these headphones is they're water-resistant. You're not going to ruin them. Um, they're very, you know, very soft, very comfortable to wear, and you know, just a wonderful experience. And you want a good pair of high-end headphones with your VR setup. Um, there's so many, I, and, and I got to tell you, this is my first day today at the convention center. I was, I've been at the, the Sands the last couple days, and I am just, you know, last year, you know, VR was a, was a little bit of a thing. Oculus announced, HTC announced, but I'm surprised. It must be like four times the number of exhibitors this year as far as VR. I mean, it's a huge, this, almost all of South Hall, too, is VR and gaming. It's fantastic. It's a very fast-growing industry, a lot of competition. It's going to be interesting how things pan out. But some of the things I've seen just in the last couple of days, it's just, it's just amazing. It's, it's uh, you know, two years from now, we're not going to be believe, uh, you know, where we're at. It's just going to feel like every day. But it is, uh, today, it's, uh, you have to be a little bit of an IT expert to get your rig set up. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's a little bit of a bear. It's, uh, it's just not, you know, it's not like console gaming yet. You can't just pick up and play. There's a little bit more involved. But I, it's going to change very quickly. Um, and so anyway, but when you're, when you're thinking about your headset, you know, buying it with a PC or a laptop, uh, or even using it with a mobile phone, you want a good Bluetooth headset and rig, um, <coughs> you can go to our website, vrvoice.co, read about VR, uh, learn more. We did, I love giveaways. Last night we gave away three headsets and a, uh, a new peripheral for your feet where you actually control your movement in VR, just kind of pedaling backward and forward and left and right. It's very cool. Um, so with that, I think, uh, I think I've rattled on for quite a while. So Shane, should I hand it back to you? Let's have a round of applause for Robert Fine, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Robert. Make sure you check him out online. For the Audiome HDX High Performance Earbuds with Microphone goes to, wait for it, Oriol Gomez. Are you here? If you're not here, raise your hand. Well, that's too bad. I'm going to ask your permission, folks. Can we move on to someone else? You, you won't whine? I didn't think so. Okay, the third place runner-up goes to... Brian Mulligan. Brian, are you here? Come on up, Brian. Brian, that's amazing. Where are you from, sir? Kingman, Arizona? Congratulations. Thank you so much for being here. Take a look over there. That's for the yearbook. All right, folks. Everyone walks away a winner. Don't forget to pick up one of your $5 coupons for $5 off any product. Now, our next second runner-up prize winner Goes to Lee Rutenberg. Lee, are you here? Oh, that's too bad. Do you folks mind if I move on to someone else? That's okay, right? I'm happy to do so. Our next winner is John Weeb. Weib, John Weib. Really doesn't matter if you're not here. Uh, I'm going to move on, folks. What do you say? Let's try again. Our next winner is Nathan Paris. Is there a Nathan Paris here? It's unbelievable. I guess people don't want a free prize, but you guys do. Is David Sharp here? David, come on up, sir. I'm just so happy you're here. I was getting worried. Thank you. Take a look over there. I want to take your photo there. Show them the product. Congratulations, David. Very very happy for you. Who would like to win the Blue Sync OR3? Thank you. All right. Our grand prize winner today for the Blue Sync ORC goes to Lynn Lee. Are you here? Come on up, Lynn. Come on up here. Watch your step. There you are, sir. 
Congratulations. Take your photo for the yearbook. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Where are you from? Los Angeles. Welcome. All right. Enjoy. Thank you guys so much. Come back next hour, every hour on the hour. We're giving away free stuff. Uh huh. Thank you. Happy New Year. Uh, that's not what I wanted, by the way. <laughs>